Good evening, we are on Saturday, the 4th of December 2021. I'm going to be sharing with you chapter one of this book by Taylor Marshall, Ill Filtration, The Plot to Destroy the Church from Within. You've heard the foreword, it's already uploaded, it's not going to be included with this. The foreword was by Bishop Athanasius Snyder, and chapter one's title, In the Name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Holy Michael Archangel, defend us in this day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, I humbly pray, and do thy Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust down to hell Satan, and all the wicked, evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. We'll ask Our Lady to pray for us and intercede for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The title, Chapter 1, Infiltration. The smoke of God and the smoke of Satan. Why did Pope Benedict XVI resign the papacy on the 28th of February 2013? And why did lightning strike the Vatican on the night he announced it? Was it prompted by scandal at the Vatican Bank? Was it a sex scandal tainting the highest cardinals? Was it a doctrinal crisis? All these questions and doubts coalesce when we acknowledge a substantiated and corroborated fact. Satan uniquely entered, entered the Catholic Church at some point over the last century, or even before that, for over a century the organisers of Freemasonry, Liberalism and Modernism infiltrated the Catholic Church in order to change her doctrine, her liturgy and her mission from something supernatural to something secular. Catholics are increasingly aware of a climate change in the Catholic Church. Some point to the controversial pontificate of Pope Francis. Others highlight the confusion surrounding the surprise resignation of Pope Benedict the 16th in 2013. Some are convinced that, <coughs> excuse me, that John Paul II was not who we thought him to be. Most agree that the Second Vatican Council the new the Novus Ordo Mass and the pontificate of Paul the Sixth brought monumental confusion to the Catholic Church. But does the fall of the first domino begin in nineteen sixty two? with the opening of Second Vatican Council? I argue that's the writer, not me. 
that the root of the problem extends back to an agenda put in play more than 100 years before Vatican II. It is an agenda to replace the supernatural religion of the crucified and resurrected Jesus Christ with the natural religion of humanism and globalism it echoes the primeval choice of Adam and Eve to make themselves divine by grasping at the fruits of nature rather than kneeling in reception of the supernatural fruit of divine grace. Lucifer also rebelled against God <coughs> excuse me in his pride he sought to ascend to the throne of God not by sharing in the supernatural life of God but by digging deep into his own nature and reaching for the stars and thereby falling into the abyss of hell supernaturalism relying on God who is above the natural is Catholicism naturalism relying on our creative nature without the aid of God is Satanism the Catholic Church is in crisis because the enemies of Christ plotted organized efforts to place a Pope for Satan on the Roman chair of Saint Peter. The enemies of Christ from Nero to Napoleon eventually discovered that to attack or murder the Pope only creates sympathy and martyrs. It is a failed strategy in every era. So instead they sought quietly to place one of their own in the papal shoes. It would require decades, even a century, to create the seminaries, the priests, the bishops, the cardinal electors, and then even the Pope, or Popes themselves but it would be worth the wait. It has been a slow, patient plan to establish a satanic revolution with the Pope as a puppet. If you do not believe that Satan exists, put down this book. Don't bother to listen to me. If you do not believe that Satan exists, don't waste your time listening to any more of this video on the book, Infiltration. Turn over to another channel. Moreover, if you believe that the Catholic Church can be purified merely by updated rules, policies and cano canonical procedures you will find little promise in the historical diagnosis and proposed cure found in this book. St. Paul stated, For we are not contending against flesh and blood 
but against the principalities, against the powers, against the world rulers of this present darkness, against the spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Ephesians 6 verse 12 The crisis of the Catholic Church relates to the intrusion of these rulers of this present darkness and she can only be purified by sanctified warfare against the demonic. In a homily for Holy Mass on the Feast of St. Peter and St. Paul, 29th of June 1972, and in commemoration of the ninth anniversary of being crowned as Bishop of Rome, Pope Paul VI lamented. We would say that through some mysterious crack, no, it's not mysterious, through some crack, the smoke of Satan has entered the Church of God. There is doubt, uncertainty, problems, unrest, dissatisfaction, confrontation. This testimony of Paul the Sixth acknowledged not merely that the Catholic Church had experienced secularization but that the smoke of Satan himself had entered the church through a crack. What is this satanic smoke? In sacred scripture the word smoke is used about 50 times. In almost every case, the word refers to the liturgical worship of Israel's God through the smoke of incense and the smoke of animal sacrifice as sweet-smelling sacrifice. Sir 38 verse 11. In one case, smoke is even used for the exorcism of a demon. And when the demon smelled the odour, he fled to the remotest parts of Egypt and the angel bound him. Tobit 8 verse 3 When Isaiah mystically enters the heavenly house of God, he makes particular mention that the house was filled with smoke. Isaiah 6 verse 4 Lastly, the book of Revelation details the plumes of smoke within the heavenly holy of holies. The smoke of the incense rose with the prayers of the saints from the hand of the angel before God. Revelations 8 verse 4 Scripture then universally associates smoke with the worship and presence of God. Why then does Pope Paul VI speak of the smoke of Satan? It's Vatican Anna 1972 volume 10 page 707 infiltration continued. Although smoke is nearly always a sign of holiness, sacrifice and worship in the book of Revelation we find a handful of exceptions. We repeatedly observe how Satan mimics God just as the Egyptian magicians copycatted the miracles of Moses. For example, Revelation presents a perverted satanic trinity of the devil 
an antichrist king and a false promise. In place of the holy and virginal church wedded to Christ, Satan establishes the whore of Babylon riding the antichrist. In like manner, we observe sacred incense smoke in the eighth chapter of Revelation. And then immediately we read of the demonic smoke of Satan in the ninth chapter. I saw a star fallen from heaven to earth and he was given the key of the shaft of the bottomless pit. He opened the shaft of the bottomless pit and from the shaft rose smoke like the smoke of a great furnace and the sun and the air were darkened with the smoke from the shaft then from the smoke came locusts on the earth and they were given power like the power of scorpions of earth revelations 9 1 to 3 this is the smoke of Satan, to which Pope Paul VI referred in 1972. Satan is the star fallen from heaven to earth, just as Simon received a new name, Peter, and received the keys of the kingdom of heaven, Matthew 16 verse 19. So the devil received a new name. Satan and received a key of the shaft of the bottomless pit. Both Peter and Satan received new names and the power of keys. Satan is therefore the Pope of the damned. That Satan is the Papa or Father of the damned can be discerned from the warning of Christ to the Pharisees. You are, your, you are your father, the devil. You are your father of the devil, and your will is to do your father's desires. He was a murderer from the beginning and has nothing to do with the truth because there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks according to his own nature for he is a liar and the father of lies. John 8, 44 The Catholic office of Pope goes back to Simon Peter after Christ asked the apostles Who do you say I am? Simon answers you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Matthew 16, 15 to 16. Christ then promises to Simon the Davidic office of steward or prime minister by changing his name. Blessed are you, Simon Bar-Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the powers of death shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Matthew 16, 17 to 19. The successors of St. Peter are those papas or popes who succeed St. Peter as bishops of the city of Rome. To understand fully how the smoke of Satan entered the Catholic Church before 1972 under Pope Paul VI, we must begin with the infestation of the Catholic Church by institutional naturalism and this leads us to the year of our Lord 
in 1859. That was the end. That ended on page 7. I'm going to stop there because I'm only going to do one chapter at a time and um, hopefully you'll be able to stay with me. If not, I'm sorry, but I, I'm going to continue right to the end, one chapter at a time. Thank you so much for listening. God bless you. I'm sending you the peace of Christ in abundance. May you always be happy and joyful in the Lord. And don't feel depressed about anything you're going to hear in this book, Ill Filtration. Better you know the truth than pretend everything's all right. God is in control of his church and of you and me and all the faithful. So we're on a journey to learn something that we should know. Because if you don't know who your enemy is and where your enemy is, how are you going to defend yourself? Thank you for being here. God bless. See you soon.